Welcome, yeah, royal family, coming on with another video. I know often we uh, actually check out different videos on YouTube. We, you know, inquire to um, request, you know, or either subscribe to different people who are on the forefront making videos. And um, my ministry is where, you know, the Almighty have put me in a position to um which videos that he have led me to and ones that I will share back with my page as well, along with uh, different prophetic words and, um, you know, things he have given me to provide to the page to um, bring any, you know, sort of revelation to them, any insights. So I um, noticed saying that their ones are making videos and I want to say that in, vid in these videos that I'm seeing that, you know, a lot of people have a large base. And with that large base, um, we want to understand that if we don't understand something, we need to seek for further insights, you know, further revelation. And one may feel like I've got it because, you know, the Almighty have dealt with me this way and all my life. Um, and, you know, I know his voice and I know so forth and so forth about who and how the Almighty have dealt with me. But I'm here to say today that I've been one um, in seeking for understanding about a whole lot of, of different things. Um, because when you continuously to go in a pattern of which everybody else is going in and things aren't adding up, you need to back away from it. And you need to say, you know, seek the Almighty and say, okay, everybody going on the same street. But the answer is really not there. It's, it's not connecting. It's not um, in a way that, you know, it's connecting the dots. It's, it's not bringing it into full understanding. So I went on a deeper quest by seeking the Almighty to lead me to truth. Because what the Almighty is, do is doing and, and um, have done is he anointed uh, ones to, uh, with messages, you will hear it all the time. Brothers and, and sisters say, I, I felt led to make this video. The almighty was on me strong to make this video because actually you're making it for someone that he's going to lead that person to you. I've had people come to my page and even say, Oh, I was led to your page. I needed to hear this exactly what you just said and what you're sharing. So I'm not out on the forefront to, um, make a dig or take a dig out on anyone or make anyone feel uncomfortable. I just want to bring this to the forefront because we're getting in even more treacherous timing. We already in a mode where we are so close to something big is going to happen on the forefront and we need to understand. So if everyone in this lineup of us, you know, understanding who the almighty, the most high is, Everyone is just on the same path. We, 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 we constantly had what ones have lied and told us as, you know, once when we didn't know that we were Israelites as far as the Christianity, you know, just steps of steps of how this ending is going to happen as far as end time prophecies. And you're like, okay, do they really got it right? If they, if, if they never acknowledge who we were as Israelites, if, if, if they never acknowledge, you know, Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, and, and, and really lining up with those people who fit that curse or curses, if they never, you know, talk about Jacob's trouble, which is the tribulation, if they never talk about the second exodus, which is the second coming, then what make uh, should have us to believe that they have lined things up accordingly to what they say. When, when you really dig deep, you'll know that the almighty have put out his true prophets on this earth for them to be on the forefront and to be able to, you know, see the scriptures and where the scriptures will open up. So for one, if you don't know who the Israelites truly is in this day and time, you walking on this earth, then you are closed minded to what the Bible is really about. Let me explain something to you all. You have to understand, and, and this truth is that the Bible, those scriptures, which you call the Holy Bible, or how many versions from it, it comes from 
a place that is written to the Israelites about the Israelites for the Israelites and by Israelites, prophets of ones who have prophesied. These are all, you know, that has been put in line for we as Israelites to know our past, our present, and our future. And if you as someone who say you're a Christian and say you believe in God and you believe in Jesus Christ and you don't understand that who the true Israelites are, not, not Jewish people, not, uh, Jews in that light. I'm talking, uh, Israelis. I'm talking about Israelites, the origin, the original people who are descendants of those people. If you're not, you know, in tune with this or that, and you not looking at those people as the prophecy is shining upon them, then you, you, the Bible is close to you in so many ways, but it, it, it goes a step beyond that. You still have, you know, to, of course, be in a repentive state. You, you repent. You, you have to seek the almighty for understanding for him to open it up to, to you, to each individual. So I hear people who are on the forefront, they're still on the forefront, lining up Yeshua, Jesus Christ as a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes and white skin. So you living in a lie, that's idolatry. And if you're, if you leading people to still think that way, then you wrong. And then you leading them in to be wrong, but they still going to be held accountable. How I know this because there are, you know, ones who have made videos of to this day claim they Israelites, but they still showcasing a idolatry picture of Jesus Christ, uh, of him being white, blonde hair, blue eyes. And, and don't bring up about it being a, a, such as a racist or race card. It's, it's not about that because see being in that truth of knowing who and what color he was, you're able to deal with truth of who the true people are and ones who have stemmed off from these true people that according to where of those slave ships went into those different areas, a lot of them have got lighter in time. So that's what you will get and have to understand the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, you will the Hispanics to say, and then the actually native Americans, you, 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 you get, to, you will get to know that that's how that lightness came in about. And even if there are even ones who, you know, white or whatnot on the forefront and they are the true people according to their bloodline, not spiritual Israelites, but bloodline, you know, awesome. Only the almighty knows who they are, but let's go to the origin, the origin of people still here to this day. Been here. The one where they give the description of revelation 12 and nine, uh, Daniel seven and nine about, you know, how God almighty and Yeshua looks. It is it, still, we, we, we still here with the woolly hair. We, we, we are still here. Okay, so I came on to talk about 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21. It says, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserve blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when I hear, um, I heard this video earlier today and this young lady who had been on the forefront for a while, she had came out and said that she's an Israelite and she's, you know, have a base, you know, of, I would say of different nations and, she is talking about UFOs that they are the fallen angels that will come and invade the land, the earth. And being that being said, they're going to like come in the spacecrafts and they're going to come and invade. And this according to her dreams that she've had, she not only had one dream about this. I think she had several, if I'm not mistaken. So, I asked her today um, on her page, and I want to take you to that before I let you listen to a little bit of her video. One moment. Scump it. 
put S on hold. So I asked her today, um, accordingly, I said, Sister Carrie Ann, please advise which biblical scripture from the Bible you are lining up your dream with about an alien invasion will come to earth by the way of spacecrafts. So she hasn't got back with me. She may do later, but um, I had left another, you know, comment under another video some months back and she never did, but I do see her do go and answer others, but she could be coming back at a later time because if you are going to come forth and make this, say this a dream and you, you're basically telling everyone because your dream is golden because you, you, your faith in the almighty and he have used you. I get that. But where does it say this in scripture that they will come as aliens, demons, what she really said, and will actually invade the planet, the earth, and that we should not take, you know, heed to any such thing. So in my findings over these past, you know, weeks in, in a, you know, almost a month or so, I'm understanding more and more about when you read Ezekiel, when you read um, Enoch, according to what my brothers in one said, and I'll, and I'll share some videos and I'm not gonna play all of it, but some links on here that the breakdown of what this is about, that what Enoch and what Ezekiel was talking about, you know, John and Moses and even Yeshua being lifted up into clouds. See, we got in our minds as Christians at one point I was and others to say, oh, Yeshua, which one called Jesus Christ, we're going to look one day and the whole sky is going to split. He's going to come from the east and he's going to come on horses. He's going to come with a sword in his hand and his angels going to be with him. Even ones that were probably raptured up previously to it. And this is all Christianity whole lineup. But I'm saying to all mankind who's hearing this video, you being sent for a reason here to dig deeper. I'm going to put some things out there and you're going to have to dig deeper each person because what we are finding out is, and most people what we're doing is we get comfortable where we follow people and that's the person you know, are many people and we don't seek the almighty for ourselves, for our own understanding, for our own clarity, for our own revelation. I'm not saying Carrie is wrong because she put out a lot of great uh, videos and a lot of, you know, dreams that she've had. But in my findings, I want to say, let's, let's go deeper in this because on that day, you know, uh, when the Almighty allow what will happen, just say, suppose there are demons who's trying to, you know, come as the angels of the Almighty with Yeshua. Say they do prior, but say do they do come the first time. And then Yeshua actually is going to use, you know, spacecrafts, or which is called chariots, to come. And you, it, it's like you're confusing ones where it just should actually go deeper from a deeper place. And there should be scriptures for ones to back up what they say when they say it. If the almighty give you a dream about anything. And even with me, he's given me dreams, but you know, we, we, we should back it up with, with scriptures that line up well, where it says that aliens invasion going to come in spacecraft on or on the earth. We can't just say what we conspiracy thoughts, we, we got to have some type of backing, right? So let's listen to a little bit what she has to say. Then um, I got some more other videos that I want to share out with you all as well. So this is a commercial coming up right Robin. now. Just be mindful. Gold Bond Dark Spot Minimizing Cream. 81% saw improvement in the appearance of sun-damaged skin. Gold Bond for Dark Spots. Karen Gideon in Jesus Christ, guys, I just want to come to you really quickly and just share this vision that the Lord gave to me on the 11th of August 2019. In this vision, brothers and sisters, I was standing outside. I could still see what was going on around me, although it was slightly dark, but not overly dark or anything like that. But when I looked into the sky, 
brothers and sisters it was like somebody took a black paint and just painted the sky it was dark pitch black and I looked up and I saw one singular spaceship in the sky brothers and sisters and in my heart I just begun to cry out to God and I was just saying to the Lord this is too quick we're not ready we're not ready Lord it's too quick because the reason I was saying that is because it's like my memory was going back to all the visions and dreams and the videos that I've done warning people sorry warning people of spaceship coming the fallen angels but in this vision it was like I was just saying to God have mercy Lord have mercy it's just too quick and this this one single spaceship brothers and sisters the light that was coming from it it was no ordinary light it was not electric light it was not LED light it was I've seen this I've seen this light before I've literally sorry I've literally it's my hands on the thing sorry I've literally seen this light before brothers and sisters is a false fake light that was coming from the spaceship it looks real it looks authentic but it was false of the fallest absolutely false and i heard people started to say the rapture is here the rapture is here and i saw one guy went underneath the spaceship brothers and sisters and the spaceship just beamed him up i don't know how it did it but it literally beamed him up from the earth and it went all the way up in the spaceship and in the vision I went to my bed and as I was going to my bed I was saying to God Lord please let what I'm seeing be a dream or a vision let it not be real that is what I was saying to God as I was lying on my bed in the vision and in the vision I had a sleep and I woke up and it was the morning and I was still in the vision and so I looked outside brothers and sisters and when I looked outside there was only one spaceship the whole entire sky was filled with spaceship and i went outside and i noticed the ground that it was all cracked and sinkholes everywhere and it appears that that there was some massive worldwide destruction obviously in the form of earthquake because the, the way how the ground was brothers and sisters it has to be some form of huge massive earthquake that happened and as i said as i looked in the sky the whole sky was filled with spaceship and i looked into the distance and i saw a group of people brothers and sisters they look so human they look abs they look different but they look they looked refined if i can put it that way <laughs> <laughs> they, they, these group of people, men and women in the group, all look refined. But I knew that these were fallen angels. And they began to teach in our schools, in our churches. And the things that they were teaching brothers and sisters was so wicked. It was so wicked. It was against God. It was, and it absolutely grieved us was noticing what was going on but it appears that these beings were protected by the government uh, that that you know those of us who have the truth we couldn't really say anything because they were protected by our wicked government and then uh, the, 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 the the vision just ended when it ended and I came out <laughs> I did get up actually and I looked I looked at the window this window here that you can see this window um, and I noticed that thank you Lord it was a vision I was so happy but brothers and sisters remember I said in the vision I was praying to God for more time I was saying God have mercy please this cannot be okay so um, actually she was at, uh, just actually closing out her video but um, she was saying that the invasion was aliens she believed you know in a dream it was fallen angels all right. So um, a lot of people talk as though um, Satan is actually, you know, going to be kicked out of heaven at a time and his minions, his angels will be, you know, come then. But this is actually in Job's. It says, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning, lightning 
fall from heaven. So it's like Satan already fall or fell from heaven. His minions, he father gave them to be prince of the air in, in the world. He said that he turned the world over to the wicked. The wicked is who's ruling the earth now. So if Satan is not already here and his minions and his demons are already here, then who, who was ruled, who he turned the world over to when the Israelites lost their, um, actually, you know, fell from grace and they were dispersed of the land. He said, well, the Gentiles were ruled, but also he turned the world over to the wicked. So let's go to that too, because I have, um, that up as well as Job nine and 24. So I tell you that, that, you know, it says that the, the, uh, world has been, uh, turn over to the wicked so the earth is given into the hands of the wicked so who is ruling the earth now the gentiles who who, who ruling it from a righteous place no the gentiles ruling from a wicked place let's go to um actually i want to say it's the same ephesians 2 and 2 it says, in which you used to live when you follow the ways of the world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is not, I'm sorry, now, I'm, let me repeat that over. The spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. So the, it's, it's already in, it, it's, it's happening. When Yeshua comes back to redeem us, his people, the almighty chosen people and those who are strangers who are believing in, in this truth and believe in the almighty, believe in Yeshua, who've been keeping the commandments, you know, who's been doing righteously. Accordingly, they will be strangers that will what? Cleave to the Israelites and then they will go. But we so want to look at this from a Christianity lineup of who have been telling us these different steps of what was going to happen. Oh, the pre-rapture will happen or either the post rapture, what I'm not the pre rapture or either the mid rapture. And then the man of perdition will come on the scene. And then <clears throat> that'd be three years and a half. But in, in the midst of that people who are the almighty chosen, who will, um, he will shield from, and they will go into the wilderness for three years and a half. I mean, it, it's just so many versions, but again, family, we, we, we going to need to go deeper. <clears throat> we, we, we're going to have to go deeper, deep. So I want to bring your attention to this. So not taking anything away from Carrie Ann. I just wanted to understand what scripture she has to back up about the alien invading the earth. It has to be in the Bible for that to even happen. Remember the almighty knows the beginning from the ending. He's alpha and omega. Omega. So he knows the beginning, the middle and the end. And so whatever's in that Bible is going to come to pass. So if, if there's no scripture to back that up, then, you know, where are all this coming from? So I want to carry your attention to this picture here. I shared it in another video. Now I want to say my testimony is that the almighty have dealt with me since I was eight years old. I've heard his voice so loud, audible, the, like if it was outside, like if another person was in the room, I've heard his voice. He literally have led me to do different things. Uh, one time my aunt, uh, her husband, well, of course her husband had passed. My grandma passed out and they was trying to bring her back too. And I was probably about 11 or 12 years old. And I was led down this hallway to this medicine cabinet to get this type of medicine you will put under one nose when you faint. My mom, my aunt, and of course, my grandma was passed out. No one told me where that was. The Almighty led me down that hallway to get the medicine and to whereas I was able to put under my aunt's, my, me, my grandma's nose and, and brought her back. Okay. Many things, you know, have happened where the Almighty have spoken to me and led me home before robbers robbed my house. I got in the yard three minutes and a half, uh, before the robbers actually robbed my, um, came to rob my house. When they came, I was in the yard and the almighty spoke and told me those were the people that was going to rob me. That's why I'm sending you home. I sent you home early. You were supposed to stay two other days, but he sent me home 
you know, two days before because robbers were planning to rob me or when this young man was going to hit me and he told the young man to slow down because I actually hyperplane and my car starts spinning and he would have been the one to hit me, but he told this young man to slow down. The young man stopped and told me what the almighty told him to tell, say, told him to slow down. So the almighty lead us to do things. He led me to open up a Bible and it goes directly to a scripture that he gave someone else to give to me. And, and I did not, you know, um, I was needing to be convicted of something. He gave it to this person and she didn't do it. And he took me directly to the Bible, led me, my eyes passed right on the scripture that he wanted to convict me of that she did not give the what was told to her. So I, I hey, I get it. I understand. But family, we, we got to go deeper. So what I'm trying to, my point is that, you know, the speaking like the movies have done with E.T. and say, you know, these people have, uh, E.T. spoke to people and their mouth not moving, you know, and then how's that line up with the almighty? We don't see him. We don't, you know, we feel his presence, but we can't, you know, we can hear him. There are times he just leaves me while I even speaking. He just leads me. There are times he spoke to me. Like when he woke me up in this awakening about being an Israelite. When he asked me where the slavery came from to start me on my path. So I get that. But what my point is, we got to go deeper. I don't want once to be afraid of. Because this is what the world has painted for us to be afraid of. And someone is having a dream and saying that it's connected to, it could be both. It could be the demons who's trying to, you know, uh, impersonate the true angels that will come one day. But we can't not get away from that. In the Bible, it speaks of the chariot. Where the songs come from, swing low, sweet chariot comes from. They're not talking about no horses swinging down. The slaves that were in the field and the ones that have seen it swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Where do you think that came from? So I think where I'm, you know, and if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm wrong. But I think a lot of people are afraid of the unknown. That's why it's called unidentified objects because they don't understand it. They don't know. But more and more people are seeing it day in and day out. And I'll take you to that video. I mean, to that website when I get a chance. Okay, so I'm going to, so this is a picture this is supposed to be Mary here, of course, you know, um, and this is the, the spacecraft, uh, ship is, is actually the UFO, the chariot is beaming light down on her. Okay. And that's her with Yeshua. All right. And I know this is a picture that don't have the right, you know, pick as far as color, but it's okay. Y'all get my point. So I'm gonna go, go to the next picture. This is a picture supposed to be a, U, a UFO or a spacecraft or, um, chariot with Yeshua being baptized by John. Look at the spacecraft, the UFO, the chariot beaming down far as the lights. So if these people did this back in the 1400s have painted pictures, the ones that father turn over the world to the wicked, they got to know something about this. Logically, if you think about it, it's something that they have hidden from us. They want us to be afraid of. I could be wrong. All I know who say been abducted by the beady looking eyes look like E.T. is who? So-called white people. If they're blacks, welcome to contact me and let me know any different. But those who Hispanic has been abducted, and he said that he was taken into an aircraft, a spacecraft, a chariot, and it showed him the, the future as far as what's going to happen according to Revelation. And he said the person that was there was a black man, tall black man that looked human. So Carrie and, and whoever's following you, if you, whoever see this, please know we got to go deeper. I don't want people to be afraid of the unknown because what's in the Bible is in the Bible. It, it speaks of the wheel within a wheel in Ezekiel. We, Ezekiel. We, we got to know that. What you think is talking about? Then people paint pictures that look just like it. So this is on the wall in Egypt. It has a submarine. It has a UFO, or a chariot, and a helicopter. Way back in ancient time that now we living in the days that we have these things but this was way before time. 
that, that the Almighty gave some revelation to someone and they did that on the wall in Egypt. So we need to come to a place to understand that we need to know more about the Bible that was written to the Israelites, for the Israelites, about the Israelites, by Israelites. And understand that it's connected with us as Israelites. And since I have actually, you know, started studying and praying and seeking the Almighty, I'm seeing things that normally I don't, I don't think I would have ever seen. So I'm going to take you to a website that actually will show you these sightings. And that's just one website. So this is the